dirty face, I'm like dirty face, I'm like fuck this bitch, no Bobby bitch, bitch I'm gnarly bitch, I watch that tummy rip, tummy What's up y'all, this is Jay the Great in the building man, today We got another fight analysis slash reaction to uh, a very very highly anticipated fight Which is probably the reason most people watch this hard, UFC 241 of course Hell of a night, man. I saw we saw a live. Check out the vlog. Uh, and we and we recorded our reactions. We watched in that live, and boy, were there some fucking wars in that one, man. Beautiful night of MMA. Beautiful night of fighting. Period. But today we're gonna break down Nate Diaz versus Anthony Showtime Pettis, man. And uh, you know, I had Pettis winning this fight, and uh, I thought Nate being out three years and not being as good as I thought he had. Uh, as good as uh, as people think he is, I thought he would lose, and uh, I thought Pettis would just outclass him on the, on the feet. But I was wrong. I was wrong. Nate Diaz had the perfect game plan for this man. Pettis is a world class striker, or borderline at least. His kicks are some of the best you'll ever see, you know. But uh, Nate Diaz got the job done fair and square, you know. There's some good uh, scrambles on the on the on the on the ground, you know. High high. High quality, high performance jiu jitsu. I believe they're both black belts. We're gonna check out the highlights right now and I'm gonna break this shit down, man. Nate Diaz, my hat goes off to you. If I had a hat on, I'd take it off. Better go. Hood goes off to you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're gonna break this shit down. Screen. Let's check this shit out. Let's break it down. Oh, give me a second. I'm gonna throw my goddamn headphones, man. That's I'm not gonna have this shit blown out, blowing you guys' ears out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, let's check this out. I'm still using these, by the way. I need to buy some. But hey, you gotta save my money, you know what I'm saying? Screen, now pop up. Alright. Let's check this out. That's Diaz right there. The little one's Pettis with the tats. Now let's get to the fighting here. Here we go. I believe this is round one. Nice push kick, nice push kick. Yeah, definitely a Diaz crowd, by the way. Sorry, y'all. Some, someone had to fucking call him doing this shit, man. Fuck. My bad, y'all. Let's go back to it. This is this is a high quality. This is a high uh, high level jujitsu. I was talking about high high level ground game right here. This is high level shit right here. Black belts going at it. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Very nice move there, but Diaz is still on him like glue. Huge first round for Diaz to get that takedown to secure the, the, the takedown afterwards. Control. Well done, Diaz. Right there, I think he hurt his ankle. I think he kicked him. He checked it. His ankle must have hit his shin. It's damaged. Damaged. Nicely placed knee by Diaz right near that knee of Anthony Showtime Pettis. Go. Some 
See right here what he's doing? This is why he won the fight, because he's just smothering Pettis, and you can tell Pettis, he didn't get completely gassed out, but he was tired, man. He was 100%. But this is smart. This is a good way to be a striker, smothering him. And even being smothered and just being like there, you're not doing much, you're getting tired, because you got his body pressing, all that weight on you, pressing up against you. It's just, he's, he's imposing his will on your body, on you. Mentally, physically, that's exhausting. He's just constantly pushing him. The whole fight, he was doing that. Pettis just didn't know how to how to adjust and counter counter that. He should have stayed on the outside, just stay on the outside, take his shots. He didn't do that. That's why he lost the fight. Diaz had a perfect game plan. It's either I'm gonna smother you or we're going to the ground. And he did both. He did both very well. You know, he was doing everything he had to do. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Beautiful performance by Diaz, man. A plus. At least as far as game plan, A plus. You know what I'm saying? Going for going. And he has sensational cardio. There's that too. Sensational. He's a goddamn zombie. Never relax. Right hand by Pettis. Pettis is a smother. You see that? He's a smother. He doesn't know what to do. Is he getting beat up? Imposing as well. They don't. They're not powerful shots. Those aren't powerful shots, but they, they eventually they add up. Pettis isn't a spear, I mean, um, Diaz is not a power striker, but those punches will add up. He just keeps throwing them, keep throwing them, you know. Beautiful. numbers here but before that I wanted to say uh, basically what he, he kept, every time he take Pettis to the ground he was trying to fly him out on his back to the where he can't go anywhere because he completely has his hooks in here like the legs so he can't move his legs and have his hooks in over his arms and just choke him out he was going for the triangle he went for a rear naked choke he even went for a fucking Kimura and Pettis is a black belt so he didn't allow that and he did take that punishment where it looked like he was almost out like he was going to get TKO'd I give him props for getting out of that. Um, Diaz got the all, all props to Diaz, man. He got he got it done fair and square, fair and square. You know he looked he looked good. He looked good. He looked. He he beat a really good guy, man. That guy took out Wonder Boy. And Wonder Boy is an all time great. One maybe the best best strikers we've ever seen, and he knocked him out. Diaz had the perfect game plan. The leg kicks, which is one of his uh, weaknesses, getting kicked in the leg. Diaz is tended to kick by that. He 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 shut that down 
Or plus Anthony did hurt his ankle sad that might have something to do with his win. But a win's a win. You're gonna get injured. That's just the way it is. Uh let's check it out. Um let's see strikes landed. Let's see succeeded. Man, over fifty percent. That's something. Uh he threw to about he attempted two hundred, he landed hundred fourteen. He outstruck him. He he did knock him down once. He took him down once. I don't know why he says submissions attempted. Uh, I thought Nate Diaz attempted several, but I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, this is a it was a hell of a performance by Nate Diaz. He got the job done. Um, what I think is next for him, he did call out Jorge Masvidal, who's another guy similar with a similar demeanor, similar uh, personality. I get why he called him out because you see he's he's popping right now. He did beat. Uh, ben Askren with a crazy five-second knockout. But the thing is, they, they don't dislike each other. They seem to respect each other, at least from what, I, what Nate Diaz said. He said he's a real a real one in the post-interview. Um, but I think uh, um, if as far as the fight itself, I think... I mean, Horde's been in it for a long time. He's a striker. I don't know. I really can't tell. I haven't really seen enough of Jorge. I didn't really know about him until he was supposed to fight Ben, which he knocked out Ben in five seconds. Literally five seconds. But yeah, man. Uh, Diaz is back. He seems to be back. He called out Jorge. I want to see Diaz fight like a uh, Connor. To be honest, trilogy. Jorge, I guess, is a good one too. I don't know. He he's never been in contention for a belt though. That's the thing. But he did beat a really top ten guy. Never been a, a belt holder. He's just a big name. Kind of like Connor at this point. He's just a big name. But yeah, man. He's going to wrap it up for this one. It was high level. High martial uh, High level martial arts, man. That's what we saw with Nate Diaz. He imposes will. His pace. You know, he po imposed that pace on Pettis. Pettis couldn't keep up. He was flustered. He was smothered. He was tired. And he just got out willed. And, you know. And his ankle has something to do with it, too. But yeah, man, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Let me know who, what you all thought about that fight. I will bring Stipe versus DC. That's going to be another breakdown I'm, I will be doing. But yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed that one. That's going to wrap it up for this one. This is Jay the Great. With another video. I'm out. Have a good one. Yeah. Hey, beaten demons with a red feral mama belt. Have my witch do a hit. Cast a spell, hit the Got shelf. Bag shells, fairy tales. Fuck the gypsy, I can't tell. Hey. Chain.